I'm going to show uh, how you would move move a project from an assumed coordinate system to uh, a state plane coordinate system or just any different coordinate system that's uh, set by a surveyor. It's pretty simple to do in Business Center, but it's a really crucial uh, step you know when you're getting a site aligned and in the in the correct coordinate system to maybe in, like in this case it's matching a, a a hired gc surveyor who's transforming all the information into a new in into state plane coordinate system to make it easier for them so it's really a, a simple uh process i've got a, a cad file from the surveyor which is the cad file from the engineer but it's it's located in the coordinate system that the surveyor wants it in and it's rotated the way that the surveyor wants it rotated so uh, it's a really simple process. Just you're going to want to pick a couple spots that are somewhat far far apart uh, and, and maybe a critical part of the job or, or something that you can, uh, you know, usually a sharp corner where you can snap to. So I just picked these two corners of the edge of pavement of the parking lot. And you make a, a point, and I just did N as a new. This is the new uh, coordinate system. So N1 and N2, you just, just drop two points in there. And then I'm just going to, just as a, a sanity check, I'm going to dimension those points. And, you know, by default, Business Center is going to read it to the thousandth of a foot in U.S. survey feet for this job. So uh, 140, uh, 698. So this is the, the CAD file from the surveyor. Now I'm going to go to my model, which has all been built, already built in the uh, assumed coordinate system, which is the exact CAD file that the engineer sent. So I'm going to make the same two points, and this is going to be O for original, original one, and original two. So now let's just do that sanity check, and let's let's dimension them. So dimension the first one, dimension the second one, and I'm looking for I think it was one forty six ninety eight. 14698. So I feel really confident that, you know, the you know, everything matches. There was no scale factor applied, which is really important to know if there's a scale factor applied uh purposely or on accident. You know, you could potentially catch a an accidental scale from a, a surveyor that did not mean to accidentally scale the the whole job. So in this case, the surveyor did a really good job. Looks like this is all going to match up exactly the way you'd want it to. Uh so I'm just going to take these two points what I did was I just, uh, I control selected both of them. I went up to my export menu. I just exported them as VCL just to exchange it between the two, the two files. So, uh, I, I did that and then I brought it into my model file, which, which is this one right here. So if I were to zoom out, now I've got these points way up here in this coordinate system. So the next step really is pretty easy. Uh, and I'm sometimes this there's issues doing this, but uh, most of the time it works real well. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my all view filter and I'm gonna select all of this, all of my model, this is going to grab my background images, my geo-referenced images, all the line work. Now, technically, you can't move a surface, but my surfaces are always built up of business center uh, features. So it's going to bring the features, and it's which is in turn going to bring the surface. I may have to rebuild it if it's set to by user. So I'm going to select all of this, but the, the really important step that you, you don't want to forget, uh, unselect your two points. If I had to bring line work into this and back into that assumed coordinate system, I want to be able to retransform it in the exact same way. Uh, so make sure you deselect those. And if I zoom extents, I definitely don't want to select those points up there, the new points. So now that I've uh, got everything selected, I'm going to come up here to uh, transform by points. Really simple, all my objects are selected that I want to move. There's a from and a to system. So the from is going to be, you know, if you want to make it easier, I'm just going to copy my all view filter, which should leave everything selected. 
And I'm going to start turning off some layer groups. And it doesn't matter. Everything's going to come with it. So I'm st I still have 813 selected. but So my from is going to be from that point to that point. My two, I'm just going to double click my middle mouse button, zoom extents. I'm going to zoom in. And my two is going to be from here to here. So there's a rotation on that. Scale is 1.00000. That's perfect. That means that really all that says is that the, the same CAD file was used in the from and the two points. That will not always be perfect depending on how you arrive at these different points. Uh, you know, most of the time you're going to you're going to want to leave it it just depends if you're going to want to just force that to be one and then accept the fact that it's not going to be rotated or it's not going to be moved perfectly uh on one of those points it's going to hold uh in this case it works out perfect uh not definitely not a 3d move so uh we want everything to move with the same the same elevation so just going to hit okay I'm going to zoom extents, and then the first thing I do is zoom extents, and then I'm going to go back and look to make sure the only things left over here, uh, I can definitely just put my all filter back on, are these two points, and we want them to stay there. Uh, zoom extents, and I'm going to move back into my model. Uh, I'm just going to go to my filter instead of that. Uh, I'm going to turn off points so that it zooms in there it is everything everything moved it it took uh seven minutes to do that maybe a few minutes longer because i i had already done a couple steps but uh 10 15 minutes you can have an entire project transformed uh exactly the way that it is supposed to be uh, and i i can turn off the engineer was or the surveyor was telling me about the yeah the north arrow is actually not you know, it's not straight up and down. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, it's the surveyor gave me the stuff to match, and uh, you know, it's not up to me to, to question any of the survey that he does. He's a professional, so uh, we're in good shape now. This this should be ready to go to the field, and it should line up perfectly with their coordinate system.